So the next interview question is, can we override static methods? Now we have seen overloading concept with static keyword. Now we are going to see overriding concept with static keyword. What is mean by method overriding? So redefining the functionality of parent class method. So let me explain one more time here the concept of method overriding. So what is mean by overriding? Redefining, redefining the functionality, redefining the functionality of parent class, parent class method in the child class. This is called as method overriding. So redefining the functionality of parent class method in the child class. Now let us understand the definition first. Let us understand what is overriding first and then we will move to the whether we can override static methods or not. So this is the definition. So let us discuss the definition. So redefining the functionality of parent class method in the child class. What does it mean? There is one parent class method and there is one child class so there is one parent class and there is one child class you are redefining the functionality so let me take one class class A and in this class A there is one method public void show so here I write system.out.println parent class show parent class show method so close the method close the class so this is about parent class method what is the method name show method now let me take one child class class b extends a class b extends a. Now what is the thing? Redefining the functionality of parent class method. Here what is the parent class method? Show is the parent class method. We need to redefine it in the child class. We need to redefine the functionality. Redefining functionality in the sense redefining the body. So we are going to redefine the body of parent class method in the child class. So let me redefine the body. So public void show. The method name is same and every number of parameters is also same. Each and everything should be same. What is the next one? We need to redefine it. Now let me take a different body. So here I'll write child class show method. Child class show method. So close the class. So this is the parent class. This is the child class. Parent class method, we are redefining it in the child class. That is, not, that is nothing but method overriding. Now, in order to execute this one, let me take a different class and let me take one main method. So class C, I will take it as class C, public class C. So in this class C, let me take one main method, public static void main string arcsare so in this main method I am going to create an object for the child class B B obj equals to new B now with the help of child class object I will call the show method obj dot show method close the main method close the class now which method will execute if you have the what is the uh, which for which class I have created the object? I have created the object for the child class that is B. So, but in this child class, uh, with the help of this child class object, I have called the show method. Now, observe here in child class B, how many show methods are there? In child class B, how many show methods are there? There are two show methods. One belongs to the one belongs to the parent class, and the other belongs to the child class. So, there are two. Parent, one belong, 
two slow methods, one belongs to the parent class and the other thing, other slow method belongs to the child class. Now I have called only one show method. Now which show method will execute? Now which show method will be executed? So according to the overriding concept, so what is the overriding? Overriding in the sense the child, so whenever in any child class, if there are two methods, one belongs to the parent and the other belongs to the child, child class method will override the parent class method. Child class method will override the show its parent class method and child class method will be executed. So this is nothing but method overriding. This is nothing but method overriding. Overriding in the sense one method will overtake another method. So here child class show method is overtaking parent class show method. So that's the reason here what will be the output? Child class show method will be printed in the outcome. Child class show method will be printed in the outcome. So this concept is nothing but overriding. Overriding in the sense parent class child, sorry, child class show method will be overtaken with or overridden with parent class show method. This is nothing but overriding. Now the question is can we override static methods? So override static methods. What do you mean by override? And one more thing. Overloading, overriding is achieved during runtime. Overriding is achieved during runtime. Achieved during runtime. This is nothing but overriding. But what is the question? Can we override static method? Static methods are binded, binded with classes during compile time. So static is binded with classes, static methods are binded with classes during compile time. Overriding is achieved during runtime. Both are two contradictory statements. Both are two contradictory statements. So that's the reason overriding of static methods is not possible. So why overriding is achieved during runtime? If you create an object for the parent class, parent class, parent class method will be executed. If you create an object for the child class, child class method will be executed in method overriding. So that's the reason depending upon the object the, which method has to be executed that is dependent. So depending upon the object the method will be the particular method will be executed. So it is nothing but during runtime. So it is nothing but it is during the runtime which object is calling the method that particular method will be executed. So overriding is nothing but during runtime. Static is achieved during compile time. So both are true contradictory statements. So that's the reason we cannot override static method. We cannot override static method. But what is the answer, perfect answer that you need to give in order to answer this question? So this is the explanation about this question. But in the interview, what is the perfect answer that you need to give? So let me write the answer for this one. No, we cannot, no, we cannot override static methods, override static methods because, because static methods, static methods are binded with classes during compile time are binded with classes during compile time but but overriding is achieved during runtime is achieved during runtime both are two contradictory statements. So that's the reason overriding of static methods is not possible. So this is the answer that you need to give. So the next interview question is, can we, can we override, can we override main method? 
can we override main method? So for this question, if you think a little bit, so the answer is already given in the previous question only. Because main method. What is the main method? What is the prototype of this main method? Public static void main string arcs array. Opening of main method and closing of main method. So this is the prototype of main method. If you observe, main method is a static method. Main method is a static method. All the static methods are binded with classes during compile time. But method overriding is achieved at during runtime. Just now we have discussed this thing. Why we cannot override static methods. Just now we have discussed. So since the main method is a static method, static methods are binded with classes during compile time. But overriding is achieved during runtime. So that's the reason both are the contradictory statements. So that's the reason we cannot override main method. We cannot override main method. So this is the answer. So let me write the entire answer. The main method, the main method is a static method. The main method is a static method. All the static methods, all the static methods are binded are binded with classes during compile time during compile time so the same as the just now we have discussed can we override static method the same thing since the main method is also static we are giving the same answer so binded with classes during compile time but method overriding method overriding is achieved during during runtime so overriding of so overriding of main method is not possible is not possible. So this is the answer you need to give. So can we override main method? No, we cannot override. The main method is a static method. All the static methods are binded with classes during compile time. But method overriding is achieved during runtime. So that's the reason overriding of main method is not possible. So this is in this way you need to give the answer with explanation. 